right, so sitting towards the front of your chair, so your back is not supported by the chair, grounding your feet down into the floor. And if you're sitting in a chair where your feet don't make good contact with the earth, you can bring your blanket underneath your feet and basically lift the floor up to you. Letting your hands rest on your lap and closing your eyes. Beginning to tune into the breath. And let's take three letting go breaths just to let ourselves arrive in this time and space. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Coming to breathe just through the nose. Feeling your spine rise a little taller. This breath nourishing you, expanding you. I'm recognizing that the gift of this time in our ever-changing world is really an invitation to shift our perspective from complexity to simplicity, from what we may have been striving for to new perspectives, new goals, new values, and allowing that shift to be in your awareness. What seems important or true a few months ago may no longer be important or true. Just recognizing that we're in a process of change, of evolution. And so with this practice today, just being present to that awareness of what is true, letting everything happen that is happening without resistance. It's okay to change perspective. Releasing the arms by the side. Keeping the eyes closed, lifting the heart a little bit more. Feel the shoulder blades slide down the back, palms face forward, welcoming in the day. Noticing how this little shift in your posture feels in your body and mind and spirit. And with your next inhale, gently opening your eyes, sweep your arms out and up, looking up. Exhale, float the arms out and down, looking down. Again, inhale, sweep the arms out and up, looking up. Exhale, float the arms out and down, looking down two more times with your breath. And then inhale up one more time. And then we're going to take this into a side bend. So I'm going to mirror you side bending to the right. You can hold on to your chair if you'd like. Inhale, press back up. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. One more each side. And 
and then keep the arms lifted and wrist circles. Float the arms out and down. And releasing the hands behind the back. Roll the shoulders. Inhale, lift the arms, heart and gaze, but keep the shoulders sliding down the back. Two deep breaths here. your next inhale inhale fully maybe lift a little taller and then exhale releasing the arms hands to the knees take an inhale pulling the heart forward dropping the belly exhale pulling back against the arms rounding the spine again inhale pulling forward exhale pressing back with your breath here. Feeling into the fluidity in your spine and also the awareness that everything is always changing. After your next exhale, bringing your spine back to a neutral place and we'll do paint the barrel. So shifting the ribs around in a circle, letting the head go opposite, We're getting head circles too. And then going back the other way. One more rotation here. So we're going to do a little lifting of the legs and you can decide if you want to hold on to your chair for a little more stability and support or if you'd like to bring your arms out to the sides, palms up, lifting through the heart. This is a little more activating for the core. We're going to lean back slightly with your next inhale, lift your right leg up, exhale back down so you can keep your spine straight. Inhale, left leg lift, exhale down. Inhale, right, exhale down. Inhale, left, exhale down. Moving side to side. One more time each side. Now we're going to add extensions. So inhale, lift the right leg up, extend the leg out. Inhale, back in. Exhale, down. Strong core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, down. Left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, out. Inhale, bend. Exhale down. One more time each side if you're up for it. Nice. We're going to release the arms down, shake them out if they've been lifted. And we're going to find our strap. We're going to loop the strap around the ball of the right foot. And then extend it out in front, flexing the foot back. So at first here, just lifting the spine really tall, extending out through the heel of the leg. 
and see if you can just get a nice stretch through the back of the leg. You might even lean a little more forward. You can walk forward with your hands on the strap if you'd like. It's really extending out through the sole of that foot. Nice, and then keeping the leg here, we're gonna hold onto the strap with the left hand. Inhale, lift the right arm up, and exhale, twisting back behind you, letting the arm land on the chair, and gazing out over the right shoulder. Keep the heart really lifted. With your next inhale, bringing the arm back up and we're gonna side bend over towards the left, reaching long through the side body while we're extending out through the leg. And then inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Lifting a little higher with the leg now, both hands to the strap, just lifting the leg up as high as it'll go up towards your head. Keeping the spine tall, no sinking back into your chair. Lifted heart. And then exhale, releasing the leg down and switching feet. So this time left foot into the strap. Just extending it out straight in front of you, pushing the heel forward, toes come back, lifting the heart, nice elongation through all the muscles in the leg. If you'd like, you can walk the hands a little forward, leaning forward without rounding the spine. Just getting a nice stretch here. And then bringing the strap just into the right hand. Inhale, lifting the left arm up, and exhale, bring it back behind you to the chair, keeping the heart nice and lifted, gazing out over that left shoulder, pushing out through the sole of the foot. Deep breath. your next inhale bring the arm back up keep it lifted and as you exhale side bend over to the right getting a nice stretch through the left side body pressing out through the sole of the foot with your next inhale coming back up exhale bring left hand down and we're gonna lift the leg up Keeping the spine nice and tall, getting a deeper stretch through that leg. Deep breaths here. One more inhale and exhale, releasing and down and letting the foot go from the strap. Scooting a little forward in your chair, we're going to do a little shoulder stuff with the strap. So taking a nice wide grasp here. You can adjust this as we move. Inhale, lifting the arms up. And as you exhale, bring the arms back behind you. If you needed to bend your elbows, take a wider grasp. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms come forward. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, back behind you. Inhale, lift. Exhale forward. We'll do two more times like this. Nice shoulder rotation here. So helpful for us. You might be hunching forward a lot or tensing our shoulders. Okay, so now we're gonna add lifting up. So if this is too much to do with the strap, you can um, just
just drop the strap and just move your arms. But we're gonna inhale, lifting up, standing up, lifting the arms up. And as we exhale, sit down into a little chair, bringing the arms back behind us. Inhale, lifting back up. And exhale, sitting down. So we're adding the standing up. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, sitting down into a little chair pose. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, sitting down. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sitting back down. We'll do two more. Last one. Okay. Good job, everyone. So we'll set the strap to the side. We're going to do a little um, lunging today. So if you're fine not being on a chair, or you'd prefer to not be on a chair, you can do this from... Um, not being on a chair you can do it like out just in a lunge if you'd like to do that so choose your adventure and challenge level here so we're just going to turn so the right leg is supported on the chair left leg back behind you keep a little bend in the knee or straighten it out all the way depending on what feels best to you Inhale, lifting the arms up, lengthening the spine, dropping the shoulder blades down the back. Fingertips reaching actively towards the sky. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, hinge forward, keeping the spine tall, pressing back through that back leg. Breathing here. Inhale, reaching long through the fingertips. Exhale, bending the elbows, gentle fists, bringing the arms back, shoulder blades sliding together. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, pulling back. One more time. Inhale, reaching long. And as you exhale, lifting back up, inhale here. And as you exhale, twisting open to the left. So arms are um, paralleling the legs here. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, drop the left arm, lift the right. And gaze up if that's available to you. Deep breaths into the right side body here. One more inhale, and as you exhale, windmill the arms around. We're going to place the right forearm on the thigh and then stretch long through the left. So you might have a tendency for the chest to come forward. See if you can open it up, really pressing into that right arm, lifting the heart up, expanding through the whole right side body. One more deep breath here. And then inhale, coming back up, letting that left arm drop down and releasing the left leg from behind you. And we'll turn around. So left leg supported by the chair, right leg reaching back behind you. Finding whether a little bend in the knee feels good or extending. And if you don't want to use the chair, you don't have to. You can just be in a high lunge. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Fingertips reaching, shoulder blades dropping. Exhale here. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Just reaching out long. Inhale here. Exhale, gentle fists pulling back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, long. Exhale, pulling back. 
Inhale, long. Exhale, pulling back one more time. Exhale, pulling back. Inhale, long. And as you exhale, lift up. Inhale. And as you exhale, open your arms. So left arm is in front, right arm behind. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, drop the right arm, lift the left. Deep breaths here, expanding, elongating. Exploring what is true now each day as we evolve. With your next inhale, coming back to center and exhale, drop the right forearm to the thigh, reaching long, sorry, the left forearm to the thigh, reaching long through the right arm. And again, opening the heart a little more towards the sky, pressing out of the left arm, not sinking into it, pressing out of it, opening the heart up. With your next inhale, coming back up with the right arm, exhale, bringing it down and sliding the legs back together. Very nice. So we're going to stand up now and come behind the chair. We're going to do a little um, quad strengthening that's helpful for the knee, just with a little balancing squat. So or yeah, just balancing knee bends. So we're gonna balance on the right leg, lifting the left leg up, just bending at the knee. You can hold on to the chair if you'd like, or if you'd like to challenge your balance a little bit more, you can try letting go of the chair and maybe even bringing your hands to your hips. So taking an inhale here, and as you exhale, bend the knee, see if it can track straight out over the toes. Inhale, lifting, straighten. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. And those of you that have hypermobile knees and you like to pop them back, which I can't do, but some of you do, make sure you don't do that. We're just lifting, keep a tiny little bend in the knee. And then exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Feel that little burning in the quad. That's great. That's creating some knee stability. Two more. Nice. And then releasing the left foot down. You can shake out the right leg. And then we'll do the other side. So bending right knee. And Lowering down, left knee bends, inhale long, exhale down, inhale long, exhale down. I don't know what animal that is. <laughs> Dog? Two more. Nice, and then releasing down, and we'll walk our way back to a chair dog. So stretching your arms out from the back of the chair, lengthening the spine, feet hip width apart or a little wider, and then see if you can lift your sit bones. It's an internal rotation. It doesn't look like a whole lot from the outside, but it's a nice stretch for the hamstrings. Get a little more active in your legs. With your next inhale, <clears throat> ground down through your feet, and then as you exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, lift up onto the balls of the feet. Sit down a little deeper with the hips. Exhale. Inhale, coming up with the hips. Exhale, sitting down. Inhale, lift with the hips. Keep the heels lifted. Exhale. Sitting down with the hips. Two more. Strengthening the leg. One more. You got this. 
exhale down. Inhale, lift, drop the knees, uh, sorry, the heels, exhale. Knees are lengthening, sending the sit bones back and up, lengthening through the spine. And with your next inhale coming back up, we're going to do a little more um, standing balance here. So shifting the weight into your right foot, and we're going to bend the left knee like we were doing before. This time we're going to lift the leg out to the side. So let me do this towards you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's, that's the motion we're doing shin parallel to the floor. We're just going to lift to the side and channel your inner dog at a fire hydrant. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to inhale, lift, exhale down. 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 Two more. Nice, and then releasing down, you can shake out the legs. Whee! Then we'll do the other side. <clears throat> so bending right knee. Keep the left knee soft. Don't, don't lock it. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Really engage the glutes here. Two more. Nice. And shake out the legs. Let's see one more final chair dog here. You might bend your knees and wiggle your bum around a little bit. Just relaxing through the legs and the hips. And then coming back up. And I'm going to come closer to you for eye exercises. So sitting back in your chair. And finding a nice comfortable seat here. So we're going to do some eye exercises today drawing infinity symbols so like a sideways eight with the eyes so you're going to start by looking straight ahead remember eye exercises are for the eyes to stretch without moving the head so we're going to start at center and then from there begin to draw a sideways eight over to the left up and then down and then through center again over to the right down through center up to the left down and then through center over to the right up and coming down and through center so a few more of these Make sure you're breathing. It can be hard when you're paying so much attention to just moving your eyes, not moving your head. Letting the eyes stretch to the periphery. And when you come back to center the next time, you can reverse the direction. So you can go down to the right and up and around and then down to the left and up and around. So continuing with your breath, your eye movements. And 
then after this last one, coming back to center, closing your eyes, rub your palms together, placing your palms over your closed eyes, letting your eyes rest in the warmth and the dark, reassured that their stretching is so awesome, so helpful as our perspectives continue to shift and change keeping our eye agility acute is very helpful and then keeping the eyes closed releasing the hands and letting the hands just rest in the lap maybe palms down on the legs and sitting for just a moment in stillness and peace and awareness of the constant of change and that in this moment all is well. All is well, just this breath. The little moments of peace, of ease, we need to tune into those. So that in the moments of challenge, frustration, confusion, we know this too. to the breath if it's drifted away. Continuing to sit with your eyes closed. Allow these words by Rilke to wash over you. Let everything happen to you. Beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, pressing your thumbs in to feel your heartbeat, your personal pulse. And take a deep breath of gratitude, sending that gratitude from your heart out to all the cells in your being. No feeling is final. I thank you all for joining me for practice today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.